Oh, hi. We're out on this trail again. I think this has become our favorite trail. It's uh, just a few miles down the street. And uh, Zeus can be off leash, can't you? And uh, and uh, it's uh, again, it's like 90 degrees outside. Um, but in the shade of this lovely trail, it's about uh, 80, I'd say. Stepping over a bridge. Yeah, and again, there's like nobody out here. Oh, hi, there you are. Um, there's nobody out here, so I can talk to myself on my phone and not feel like a total crazy person. It's Wednesday, and I've uh, had some job interviews this week and phone calls for potential interviews. Um, I had this one yesterday for, I guess I can't name the company, but um, it was centered around nonprofit work. Uh, and this lady called me the day before and was kind of pushy about getting me an interview. It was weird. I've never had someone fight for me for an interview so hard. Um, she wanted me to do an interview at 8 a.m. the next day. And I was like, well, it's a little early. I'd like to be fresh for you guys. I have some stuff this evening, etc. Anyway, I just didn't want to wake up at 7 or 6 to, like, prepare for this. And I'm glad that I didn't because <laughs> the interview actually ended up being at 10.30. I, I uh, agreed to 10.30. And uh, it wasn't an interview at all. It was... Um, it was a Zoom meeting with, like, 15 other candidates, uh, and the only time I actually talked was, um, this, they did, like, a little round table, tell us a little bit about yourself thing, um, and I said something to the effect that, um, I'm a artist on the side, I do watercolor and ink, comics and illustrations, um, and there were other people, there was this girl that, like, did stand-up comedy, and, um, yeah, just a nice group of people, but not an interview, it was really strange, um, nothing at all about, hey, you're gonna be in a room with 15 other people, <laughs> uh, and at the end of it, she's like, so, there are 15 of you, and, you're gonna get a call from this lady if you're chosen uh, and I think she even said like one of us was gonna be chosen um, anyway I was like well probably not me then right this woman calls me and she's like hey uh, wanted to see if you could uh, if you would like to schedule another interview with us and I was like yeah that'd be great uh, and she's like, all right, can you come in tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for a formal interview? I guess I forgot to mention also that at this point, I don't know what this position is. Um, even in this Zoom meeting with 15 of us, they were still really vague about the details of the position. Um, so I was like, yeah, that'd be great, but could you give me a little information on what the position entails? Like, what's a, a regular day look like for someone that is in this position and she's like well I'm just the recruiter so I can't really tell you that I don't know <laughs> and I was like well can someone call me and tell me she's like well that's what the 9 a.m. interview would be about uh, so if we could just get you to come in at 9 a.m. And, and I was like no you're kind of a drive you're like 40 minutes from me in traffic at that hour uh, so if you could just have someone call me and tell me a little bit about what I should be expecting from this position. Anyway, long story short, she couldn't do that. And I was just like, look, appreciate your time. Um, I, uh, I value mine and uh, I'll keep you guys in mind. But since I don't know what I'll be doing in this position, it's not really 
of value to me to continue with this process. So I appreciate you calling me and uh, have a good day. I'm not sure what it is about some companies just being really, really sketchy about what they're hiring for. If I know what I'm applying for, I can tell you whether or not I'll be a good fit. It just seems really simple. Anyway, I had, I had another recruiter call me today. And first of all, she called from a completely different area code, which threw me off at first. And I get like 40 scam calls a day on my phone. And she like whizzed through introducing herself. And I was like, wait a minute, where are you calling from? And she named the company that I had applied to actually last night. And I was like, oh, hey, yeah. Yeah, good to talk to you. How are you? And uh, she didn't tell me about the position again. She uh, basically asked me when the last time I was employed was which my resume clearly states. Um, she didn't really tell me much of anything. And <laughs> she immediately, pretty much immediately asked me if I had any questions for her. And I didn't really know where to start. Um, kind of expecting her to take the lead on this phone call because she's calling me about an interview. I don't know, like, Tell me anything, lady. I don't know. There's just some weird people out there trying to hire people. And I'm just trying to find a company that is transparent and, you know, isn't sketchy about hiring people. <laughs> like, just tell me. Just tell me what the f*** you want from me. I just needed to get out of the house. Smell some trees or something. <sighs> And it's lovely. I feel like we're supposed to get some rain at some point, but nothing yet. We didn't get anything from Hurricane Ida, which I thought at least we'd get like, you know, a little bit of something, but we didn't. You know, a stray shower or something, nothing. We got nothing. Um, poor Louisiana though. And I guess Mississippi, um, they, they took it really hard, so I feel for them. So here we have a Gila monster. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Uh, they are located in Arizona or something. Um, and they're venomous, and they're beautiful. I, uh, was watching this video the other day, um, and kind of realized that they're made up of lots of circles, which most of you know, if you've been watching my channel for a bit, uh, is relevant to my interests. I kind of have a thing for circles. Um, so I uh, thought I'd take a stab at drawing one of these guys. It's really just his shape. Um, and I wanted to draw a bunch of circles. Um, little stress relief, I suppose. Uh, and then uh, scanned him in like I did my last drawing and um, started coloring him up in Procreate. Uh, I really can't stress or state enough that uh, I really love Procreate. Again, it's really, it's really intuitive, it's really simple to use. Um, it's like training wheels for Photoshop or something. Uh, it's just really simple. And I get to play with brushes and colors and stuff, and um, I don't waste paper doing it. Uh, I can always, you know, erase it and uh, or clear a layer or two and just completely start over, which I actually did a couple times at the beginning here. Um, I'd actually spent quite a lot of time on this drawing, and after like 48 hours of uh, 
sitting with it. I actually kind of hated it. And then, and then I fixed it, I guess. It just like started coming together better for me. Um, and you know, sometimes you just have to take a breath and, um, you know, go do something else or something for a little bit and come back to it. Uh, and it sort of takes on a new shape after that. Um, or like your attitude kind of shifts if you just take a break. It's nice. It's kind of magical. Um, but yeah, uh, happy, happy weekend to all of you. Um, hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, and I'll see you again next week for another video. Thank you.